Hello everyone, today I'm looking at the New King James Single Column Wide Margin Reference Bible from Thomas Nelson. This one is in the brown leather soft. Here's a quick look at the box. This one opens from the top, it's a single piece slipcase. You have your information on the back, you can see that this one does have the 72,000 cross references and the other pertinent piece of information is the 8.5 comfort print, which is a little bit smaller than many of the Bibles of this size that you'll see, but you'll understand why they did that in a moment. So here's the Bible. This one is a nice imitation leather. It's very floppy. It's not very stiff. If you saw my video of the verse by verse center column reference that I just did, it was much more stiff. I like this imitation leather a little bit better because it's there's some flexibility to it and it does lay flat and um, comes back to shape very well. There's a little bit of grain, not too much. It's kind of shiny. Then you do have perimeter stitching. The brown stitch is a little bit lighter than the rest of the cover, so it stands out very well. Your spine is similar to the wide margin, um, large print wide margin reference Bible that they did in the New King James about the middle of last year. The hubs are not raised, they're more tooled. You have five of those, then you have a perimeter box around three of those sections, and then Holy Bible, and then the bottom box has New King James and your Thomas Nelson logo. Then on the back you do have the ISBN. I like that they did not put gold on this one, it's just stamped, so it's very subtle, but if you're going to have an ISBN on the back, I'd prefer to have it like this. Then you do have gold gilding on the edges. There's no art gilding, just the gold. And two 3 8 inch double-sided satin ribbons. These ones are significantly lengthy. They're not too short. I'm kind of a long ribbon person. I like having them a little bit longer. This is about right for my taste. open this up you do have your size is six and a quarter inches wide nine and a quarter inches tall and about one and a half inches thick so it's a decent sized Bible you have your end sheet is just a single piece here that is covers as your paste down liner and then I don't see any reinforcement tape, so it doesn't appear to have that. And you can see here kind of how that cover works with this. It's not laying flat completely, and that's because the cover is so flexible that it's actually formed to the block very tightly. So once you get into Genesis and Exodus, it will lay flat, but initially without a lot of opening and closing, it's going to want to stay open a little bit. So you have your presentation page in the front, one piece of cardstock, and then you get right into your Bible paper. That's something that's pretty common with um, Thomas Nelson. They don't have very many cardstock end sheets. And you have your opening page here containing the Old and New Testaments. And then your publication page. This is a 2021 publication printed in China. And then you have your text designed by 2K Denmark. You have your table of contents, alphabetical order, and your preface, which is in two column. And then your Old Testament. And this one is in, has the red accents, kind of a design on the front with the lines. And then here's your text. And you can see here, it's not quite laying open. It it will eventually lay open flat on its own, but initially it'll be a little bit difficult. So you have a center column of text, one and, they say one and a half inch margins, but it's actually one and nine sixteenths, so you get a little bit extra than that. I'm actually kind of glad that they under um, referenced the actual size, so you do get a little bit more. And then you have your references in the gutter, 
separated by a line, and then there's another line on the bottom with your textual references. So you get both the cross references and textual separated, which I prefer because you don't get confused about which is which, and the textuals on the bottom references are on the side. This Bible will be familiar to some people because it is actually the same text block layout as the Journal of the Word Reference Bible in the New King James. So if you have one of those Bibles, this will be very familiar, except that they do not have the lined margins in this version. So this is just the reference and single column. And that's one thing that I will point out in in reviewing Bibles, I know a lot of reviewers don't like to watch other people's reviews prior to making their own because you kind of don't want to have an influence by someone else's thoughts before you do your own thinking. However, in many cases, I found that I enjoy watching other people's reviews first because I learn things that I didn't otherwise know and might not have been able to learn before doing my own review. And the connection to the Journal of the Word reference was one of those things on this Bible. So... That's just a little bit about my philosophy on that. So this is the 8.5 New King James Comfort Print. It is not line matched, and that's probably one of the biggest complaints that you could have about this. However, the, I think this is 36 GSM paper. It's pretty opaque, so you don't really notice it except when you get to the poetic settings. It starts to come through a little bit there. And then the, the inconsistency in line arrangement kind of gets a little bit confusing in some portions, but not all. The book and chapter numbers are in red, and then you're also your subject headings are in red. Cross references are also red highlights, and then your book at the top is in red. Turning to the New Testament, you'll see that it is red letter. And something that's different here is that the red letters for the subject headings is actually a different shade than the red letter for the text of Jesus. And I haven't decided if I actually like that, but it does help offset the two colors. And you can kind of see here, it's a little bit different. The subject headings and verse numbers are a little bit darker. And another thing that can be noted here best is the parallel passages, especially in the Gospels, but also in other portions of the Old Testament, whenever they come up, are marked underneath the subject headings. So if you have a parallel passage, the passage in Mark and Luke that discusses Jesus blessing the little children is noted underneath that subject heading, which helps with study and is placed here instead of in the cross references and it's probably in the cross references as well but this is a little bit quicker to reference and I kind of actually like that feature a lot here's one of the book beginnings this is Ephesians you'll see that it is in red with a line and the design there separating that from the text there are no introductions this is a very basic Bible it's just text and reference you'll see this is a good portion to show the red letters very well done. I haven't seen much inconsistency at all. Here's a page where the references actually take up the whole thing. And then in the back, you have your tables of weights and measures. These are all separated by different compartments in different boxes with the red highlights. Then you have your book abbreviations not in the front, which is kind of, or I think there's one in the front as well, but it's interesting that they have it there too. And then you have your dictionary concordance. I really like this concordance. However, it is very small. It's only about 27 pages. So not very much information, but what you have in there is very well done and very detailed. Then you have a couple pages of lined paper in the back. And then your note on the type. And then at the end, there are no maps. So again, they cut a little bit from this and made it just the text of the Bible. This Bible does come in four different cover options. It has the brown leather soft, such as this. You have a purple leather soft, and then 
hardcover and genuine leather and I believe the genuine leather does have raised spine hubs. This one retails for $59.99 um, but I was able to find it for around $38 on websites such as Christian Book so you can get it for a little bit cheaper than that unless of course it goes on sale for less. So that is the single column wide margin reference Bible from Thomas Nelson. Again, I really enjoy single column Bibles and Thomas Nelson has done a good job with their design, even though this one is just a rerun, kind of rebranding of the Journal of the Word and their ribbons and their imitation leather. All has been very well done. So don't worry about if you can't afford or don't want to get the genuine leather of this one. This is perfectly acceptable and a really great Bible that will last a long time. So there you have it.